Lake Maggiore and the Ticino River are two water bodies of great environmental interest shared between Italy and Switzerland. They are extraordinary resources in terms of providing drinking water, electricity and irrigation for agriculture. The region's lakeside landscapes and protected areas make it a major destination for international tourists. Water management here is very complex because it needs to take into account different and sometimes opposing interests. The Parchi Verbano Ticino Interreg project proposes a more sustainable approach to water level management and strives to protect the natural habitats linked to this resource. This is an absorbing challenge that seeks to achieve concrete benefits for local resource users, biodiversity and ecosystem health. The water rail and the Great Bitten are inextricably tied to reed beds. Like many other animals, they find shelter in waterside vegetation, using various strategies to blend in. With their pointed bills, they probe the thin layer of water that covers the muddy bottom, which is rich in the mollusks, aquatic insects, and other invertebrates they feed on. They select the water depth best suited to their foraging strategies. A Chetis warbler pecks at the muddy surface frenetically balancing itself on the ice that the morning sun is starting to melt. Hunger is forcing it to make some quick sorties from the dense waterside tangles it haunts. Whether near canals, marshes, rivers or reed beds, its habitats are always tied to water. The flooded meadows, locally known as Marchite, reflect farming practices that go back thousands of years and which tenaciously hang on in the Ticino Valley. Biodiversity in this agricultural habitat also dances upon a veil of water. For herons, starlings and countless other birds, Machite are islands where they can feed at any time of year and become indispensable during hard times. The grass grows even in the winter, free from ice or snow, thanks to water that flows at a constant temperature. Earthworms and other prey items that would otherwise be under the snow are easy to find here. The system is fed by canals connected to the river or to natural spring. In the past, these canals also powered watermills. It is easy to see how even a small change in the quantity of water available upstream 
can compromise the ecological function of marchite. Il Lago Maggiore, come tutti i grandi laghi prealpini, è un lago regolato. L'opera di regolazione la vedete alle mie spalle, è lo sbarramento della mia orina, che ha lo scopo appunto di modulare le portate del fiume Ticino e di regolare i livelli del lago, che quindi ha un massimo di due metri di range di variazione. The artificial management of water levels has a not insignificant impact on the lake shores and on the mouths of the rivers and torrents that flow into it. Lake Maggiore's watershed, which is divided roughly equally between Italy and Switzerland, has about 30 artificial water bodies, including some along the lake's main tributaries such as the Maggia, Torce and Tresa. More than any other, the Miorina Dam regulates water levels in the lake and, as a consequence, in the downstream portion of the Ticino River. Le evoluzioni di livello del lago dipendono sostanzialmente dagli apporti che sono diversi da stagione a stagione. Normalmente il lago ha i valori più bassi alla fine dell'inverno e poi con l'incremento delle portate primaverili il lago raggiunge i suoi valori massimi attorno alla fine della primavera, all'inizio dell'estate, per poi discendere gradualmente verso l'autunno. Nevertheless, this network of dams and canals alters the watershed's hydrological regime. The Lake Maggiore Ticino system is no longer under the natural regime of floods and droughts that had been in place from the end of the last glaciation to the middle of the 20th century. As a result, natural habitats have become degraded and biodiversity suffers. In order to understand such dynamics in more detail, the Parchi Verbano Ticino Interreg project is investigating the reaction of natural habitats to artificial water management in the Lake Maggiore watershed, especially in summer. Lo scopo principale del progetto è quello di approfondire la tematica del rapporto che esiste tra la regolazione del lago e la tutela degli ambienti naturali, sia spondali che del fiume Ticino, con particolare riferimento alle aree protette che sono quelle di maggior interesse dal punto di vista conservazionistico. The project's technicians have set up several experimental plots in the Fondo Torce Nature Reserve. Abbiamo le aree davanti a noi, dove c'è il lallino con la crocetta e dove sei tu, dove siamo noi. E queste sono le due aree che dovete tagliare. The plots are located at very slightly different elevations, a difference of just a few dozen centimeters, and the vegetation is cut each winter to assess their ability to regenerate in function of the length of time during which they will be flooded. Perché i canneti, diciamo, in questi decenni sono entrati in sofferenza su tutto il lago maggiore e hanno avuto una riduzione della loro superficie, soprattutto nella parte del canneto cosiddetto lacustro tipico eh, che si sviluppa fino a contatto con le acque. All of the marshland along the shores of Lake Maggiore have been affected by the same dynamics. In the north, at the Bole di Magadino Nature Reserve, the reed bed has visibly contracted. Only a few years ago, it extended all the way to the wooden posts rising out of the water. Things are just as worrying on the southern end of the lake. At the Canetti di Dormaletto Nature Reserve, dead reed stalks emerge forlornly from the water. In order to solve the problem, ecological restoration engineering efforts are underway, including the use of pre-established coir pallets with plug plants, which are laid out in areas where the reed bed has been lost. Assessment of these experimental efforts will take place at the end of summer, and the effect of lake water levels on the outcome will be evaluated.
Further back from the reed bed, our attention turns to the floodplain woodlands, which are flooded part of the year. The most worrying aspect here is the impact of invasive plants. These alien species, which have been brought here by humans in various ways, replace the native vegetation. This degrades the woodland's ecological potential because it rapidly weakens pre-existing relationships between plants, fungi and animals. This makes it necessary to carefully manage these habitats through the removal of unwanted plants. In some cases, their trunks are girdled, causing them to decay slowly for the benefit of insects that depend on dying wood, such as the stag beetle. When conditions are right, the humid woodlands backing up the reed bed often host breeding colonies of grey herons. One such heronry can be found at the Bodza Monvalina marsh. Located in a small cove protected by marsh vegetation, the marsh, together with the nearby Sabiadoro lakeshore, has been designated a special conservation area by the EU and is part of the Natura 2000 network. The breeding season is betrayed by the quality of sticks selected with care and transported to their nests by a great variety of bird species, including herons, grebes and black kites, recently returned from sub-Saharan Africa. The nests are built with great patience, but tempers flare when jockeying for the best nesting sites. The coots do not seem very picky when it comes to nesting materials. What's more, they seem to be experimenting with their creativity on the nests of great crested grebes, which respond by pugnaciously defending their property and traditions. After such a snub, the pair bond must be reinforced with their typical mating dance. Then it's time to get busy, but always with extreme elegance. The goosanders, a species undergoing a rapid expansion in Europe, do not collect sticks. They will line the waterside cavities in which they breed with feathers and down. Small mollusks, crustaceans and insects, often at the larval stage, comprise the benthos, the aquatic organisms that live at the bottom of water bodies and are a crucial food for fish, birds and other vertebrates. Researchers from CNR's Research Institute on Water in Verbania used a tried and tested method to investigate three nature reserves along the shores of Lake Maggiore.
Their aim is to assess any increase in stress to the benthos related to changes in water levels. Sampling takes place through various methods, targeting either the lake bottom or its surface, where fragments of organic material float. The samples will be analyzed in the lab. The crucial role of these organisms in the food chain that supports birds can be quite evident at the right place and the right time. The Ticino River Delta at Bole de Magadino and the lakeshore at the Sabi de Oro Special Protection Area are some of the best places to watch birds as the lakeshore recedes. During periods of low water, the sandy bottoms that have accumulated over thousands of years of sediments being carried by tributaries emerge. The resulting ecosystems are as valuable as they are rare at the European level, especially for such large water bodies. Birds are attracted by abundant small invertebrates. Gulls, herons and migrating waders greatly benefit from these sites. If these sand flats form in summer and remain for a sufficiently long period of time, plant communities of great interest can form, both on the flats themselves and on the adjacent strips of reed bed and humid woodland. Studies show that the Lake Maggiore Ticino River system serves as an extraordinarily important ecological corridor. The acrobatic flight of a red-footed falcon testifies to this. For a few days a year, they follow the Ticino riverbed south of Lake Maggiore to hunt insects on the wing to fuel its migration. Before leaving Lake Maggiore behind, it will make a stop at Bole de Magadino. These are crucial pit stops on their spring migration from their wintering grounds in southern Africa to their breeding areas in continental Europe and as far east as Siberia. For a great many species, the breadth and extent of their food web is bolstered by the natural fluctuations in water levels, which form ponds and puddles during high water and allow for the emergence of sand flats during droughts. When we have delle paludi che restano immerse in questo modo, abbiamo soprattutto all'inizio della stagione primaverile una forte produttività di insetti. Gli uccelli che arrivano in migrazione prima di fare lo sforzo di superare le montagne hanno bisogno di accumulare energia, di fare il pieno se vogliamo, trovano abbondantemente cibo. Questa è la funzione importante anche per cui una piccola riserva come le bolle ha un ruolo internazionale perché siamo sulla via migratoria che dall'Africa va all'Europa. The University of Insubria 
is making available an innovative technique to investigate the suitability of stopover areas for migratory birds. It involves an ornithological radar that can track arrivals and departures, classifying birds into several categories – passerines, waders, large birds and flocks. Data on movements is then correlated on a daily basis to water levels on the lake in order to understand the effect of this variable on bird migration. Abbiamo potuto dimostrare che quando il livello del lago sommerge queste paludi in periodo di inizio migrazione, la produzione di insetti cessa e si ferma anche il flusso migratorio. Questo è una conseguenza molto grave, molto importante. Questo è anche un risultato molto preciso che abbiamo potuto fare grazie agli studi sulla migrazione con le stazioni di inanellamento con le reti in parallelo con il bird radar. The studies on the organisms that live on the sandy lake bottom have also reached the first conclusions. I primi risultati ottenuti dalle analisi eh, condotte sino ad oggi hanno evidenziato e confermato quanto si ritrova comunemente nelle pubblicazioni scientifiche, ossia che la gestione umana dei livelli delle acque ha un impatto fortemente negativo sulla biodiversità dei litorali lacustri. The artificial altering of water levels on Lake Maggiore in late spring and summer significantly disturbs the ecology of the lake shore. At the Fondo Torci and Dormaletto nature reserves, the experiments on plant communities had contrasting findings. Some very encouraging results were obtained by containing invasive alien plants both along the lakeshore and in the floodplain woodlands. C'è una importante presenza di questo acero esotico invasivo, l'acero americano, e quindi anche qui abbiamo un altro intervento di riqualificazione della vegetazione volto a contenere più possibile le specie esotiche invasive e far affermare quelle autoctone. On the other hand, the reed bed conservation efforts show worrying developments. The coir pallets with plug plants that were installed in 2021 seem to have largely been a failure. L'intervento uh, non ha avuto esito favorevole. Il motivo è semplice. Le cannucce, una volta posate, hanno subito una sommersione a partire dalla fine di aprile per poi i mesi successivi che ha comportato la loro morte. L'esito di questo intervento porta a concludere che questa tipologia di ripristino dei cannetti nel lago maggiore con il sistema di regolazione delle acque che c'è è sostanzialmente improponibile. The severe lack of precipitation in 2022 confirmed that the reed bed remains vital if it is not submerged during the regrowth phase. Qui ci troviamo di fronte ad una vera e propria sorpresa. Eh, cioè lo scorso anno, nel 2022, con eh, la, la forte siccità che si è verificata, il canneto è riuscito a rinnovarsi per seme, cosa che noi non avevamo mai osservato fino a quel momento. At Bole de Magadino and at other sites on Lake Maggiore, this is even more evident, showing that this ecosystem remains healthy when not subject to direct human interference. Other parameters also turned out to be of crucial importance for understanding the ecological potential of lake and river habitats. Along the Italian portion of the Ticino River, monitoring efforts focus on water quality in terms of oxygen concentration and temperature. The description of the probes used to collect this data is a good starting point for in-depth lessons on environmental management. Però in questo caso il deflusso minimo vitale, come diceva Caterina, è la portata vitale a valle di quello che viene preso dalla derivazione, della capitazione.
On April the 15th, 2022, Lake Maggiore looked like a scene out of the apocalypse. After months of drought, the woodlands around Angera went up in flames like a hay barn, for reasons that remain unknown. Just a year and a half earlier, the opposite calamity took place at the Toche River mouth. In just one night, a violent flood destroyed the nature reserve's prized beach. Che cosa è successo quel primo fine settimana maledetto di ottobre 2020? Che ha fatto una piena strepitosa di fiume con una quantità d'acqua che non era mai arrivata prima in quei tempi brevi sull'ossola, sulla bassa ossola. Il fiume è arrivato giù come un treno e ha spazzato via tutto. E tutta quella spiaggia che aveva un fronte lago di circa 60 metri è finita in fondo al lago. As the global climate crisis advances, temperature increases are expected to be particularly high in the Alps, the source of Lake Maggiore's water. Increasingly frequent extreme events are already upon us, with prolonged droughts and devastating fires, but also with intense rainstorms and sudden floods. Quel giorno che sono riuscito a scendere, non riuscivo a capire dove e cosa era successo. Ci ho messo qualche minuto a rendermi conto e a un certo punto me lo sono detto, la spiaggia non c'è più. Qui non c'è più la terra. Under such difficult circumstances, conflict is generated by the opposing needs regarding water levels on the lake. The Parchi Verbano Ticino Interreg project aims to tackle these opposing needs by bringing together all of the institutions that have a say in the matter, while also involving local communities. Il valore aggiunto di questo progetto è quello di mettere insieme, probabilmente per la prima volta, soggetti che hanno il compito di gestire le aree naturali protette, gli enti di ricerca ambientale del territorio, quindi l'Università degli Insubri e il CNR, e il soggetto che regola le portate del fiume Ticino e i livelli del Lago Maggiore, come il Consorzio del Ticino. È importante mettere in primo piano l'ambiente, la biodiversità, e quindi trovare il giusto equilibrio al fine di preservare e conservare le nostre specie animali, le nostre specie vegetali. Perché biodiversità è vita, ma vita anche per l'uomo. The Grebes at the Bozza Monvalina Marsh are about to fledge their young. Large environmental systems, such as Lake Maggiore and the Ticino River, support biodiversity and are a key component of the global health concept. This concept embraces and ties together all ecosystems and species, including ours. The responses that will come out of this indispensable discussion on lake water levels must take this into account. <laughs>